Anyway, my name is Antonia and I'm a junior from Burke High School. Words are hard! My father, a criminal, my mother, an accuser. You're too much like your father. She brandishes this accusation like a sword, turning her bitter words into a weapon so they cut me down. Every time my actions reflect those of a father I never knew. My artistic talent that she once took pride in bragging about suddenly becomes criminal activity. My, acti my tendency to be shy is no longer cute but cause for concern. I'm guilty by association from birth for a crime I had nothing to do with. I wonder if she remembers that not only am I half of him, but half of her too. You're too much like your father, a six word accusation tattooed on her half of my DNA, the piece that is the good half, the part of me I'm supposed to be proud of, the half of me that relates to her, the only me I am allowed to be, and any part of me that isn't part of her isn't a part at all. Guilty until proven innocent, I am sentenced to a life of living up to her expectations of a clean criminal record. But no matter how hard I try to force myself to fit into her tiny box of standards, she refuses to expunge the charges from my record. You're too much like your father, her justification for throwing me behind bars. So I surrender, turning myself in, hoping that one day she can look at me and not see him. After all, I wasn't the one getting caught up in drugs, gangs, prostitutes, and worst of all, breaking her heart. I silently served my sentence, making up for all the time my father had left before he escaped. And when I happened to remind her that I'm not him, after making it past freshman year in high school or not being a dope addict, I catch a glimmer of pride in her eye before you're too much like her, your father cuts our visitation short because he made her proud too and disappointed her all the same. After 16 years of patiently waiting for my mother to come to her senses, I file an appeal. The basis on which I was convicted is unfair. I did everything in my power to convince her I was, I'm not like him. Spent hours poring over my books, never strayed too far from the past she outlined. Even packed up my art in order to wash myself clean of everything that could group me in with criminals like him. I understand that my mother has been blinded by her pain, but my hands are clean and I am innocent. You're too much like your father no longer holds, holds power over me. I issue myself a pardon, no longer the victim. Yeah.